Okay, I've been fortunate enough to test the pre-order of Skylom's Air Magic software. It's a drone photography software that, as it says here, boosts your drone photography automatically. It's an AI system that allows you to edit your photos really, really quickly. And I'll show you here if it allows me to do it, it is. So there you have the before and the after. You can see how everything's been enhanced, the haze and the sky, the clarity, the sharpness, everything's been enhanced with it. You can actually head over and pre-order this software just now and it works as a standalone and a plug-in for Photoshop, Lightroom. If you pre-order it, you get all these bonuses here and that's for a total of £35. I've picked certain images, you'll see them highlighted in red. And the reason I've highlighted them in red is because they contain different textures of different atmospheric conditions, most of them. And I'll let you see how quickly and easily this works. So I'm just going to launch Air Magic. And basically it is drag your photos here. That's all you need to do. I'm going to drag the first one over here. I'll start here and work down all five of them just to let you see the difference and I'll talk you through everything. So I'm going to drag that on. It tells you that it's analysing the image, it's looking for the drone, it's programmed depending on what kind of drone. These are shot with the DJI Mavic Pro and as you notice I move around these lines that are just to keep you entertained while it's editing. That's how quick it was. So there's the before image and there's the after image and you can see how that's been enhanced quite dramatically for this image. There is a lot going on in the blues and for me that's something I would, once this is exported, I would then take into Luminar 3 just to pull back the blues ever so slightly. It's a quick enhancement and one that is very, very time saving as far as I can see. When you get into the export settings here, or you can click export down here, you go disk and your settings box appears. So you have JPEG. PNG, TIFF, JPEG 2000, Photoshop or PDF. Quality 100. What I'll do is I'll set up a folder on my desktop just to let you see it's saving image by image. So I go into desktop, new folder, I'll call this Air Magic. We'll create. If I go into the advanced settings, we have save to, so you can set this up where it's running every time I go in to do this. It's quite similar to Lightroom export settings if you want to think of it that way because I can actually decide for it to overwrite without warning or when I hit save each time it will say this image exists, do you wish to rename? Prefix none, file name uh, I could go file name, custom text and in this case I am just going to call this test Quality format would be JPEG, PNG, TIFF as you've seen before, I'm going to leave it at JPEG, quality 100. We have colour profiles here, sRGB, Adobe RGB, a Pro Photo RGB. As I say, these images are just test images, so I'm going to keep them there. And I'm going to go sRGB. Resize. Original long edge shortage of dimensions. If I go into dimensions, you can actually type these in. Into short edge, I can set the pixel amount for the short edge, same with the long edge, or I can keep it the original size. Uncheck, don't enlarge, keep it original. I can save these settings or click continue. I'm just going to click continue. So what it's doing now is exporting, as it says, the masterpiece. You'll see this, how quick this is actually happening. And then when we get into that folder, what I'll do is I'll open up this original DNG and then I'll open up that one there. I'm going to click it here and I'm going to double click that to let you see it open. So here we have the finished edit using Air Magic. I'll close that and the original DNG file. So you can see there is quite a difference. They are done in a very minimal time. You can see as I say the blues for me I would take it into Luminar. Sharpness, clarity, especially around here with the rocks, with the texture on the rocks. So you can see how quick that is. So here what I've done is I've set up a few more just to run through. You can see how it's working there before and after. The blues again, as I said for me, you can adjust this down here as well. For me, my workflow, blue too much, I pull it back. 
Here's an aerial shot of actually the back garden and you can see the difference that that makes within the image. Another one coming up. This was actually one of the first shots I took with the drone but look at the difference in the sky. This is my editing workflow where I'll take it into Luminar and then I'll just adjust the hue, saturation and luminance just to give me the final image that you see now. I'll do the same with another one, the edits are sped up here just to save time with this video but you can see how it's easily transformed using Luminar as well, the workflow cone stamp tool in Luminar I absolutely love. And here we have the final image. Final image for this video. This is the Brigadoon in air, and as I mentioned, it oversaturates. For me, for my workflow, I find that it oversaturates a bit. But with this image, look how it's affected the greens. It's actually created more life and more depth in this image that was there. Yes, I have taken it into Luminar afterwards and tweaked it a wee bit. You'll notice there's a vignette coming in. I've lifted the yellows ever so slightly. I think that makes a massive difference to that image. And I'm really enjoying this software. What I would love to see is this software translating into moving image. Maybe that's something you can think of in the future, Skylar. Your magic also has presets. And I'll show you some of these here. I'll speed up the process for you. So there you have the after. Presets can be found down here as styles, as it's naming them. So that's the normal style. Chinook, it will reanalyze and adjust it to that one. Cinematic. Emotional. Sandstorm. And last but not least, Zephyr. You can also get new styles and it will take you to this page here, which is the Skylum Air Magic site. So there you have it. That's Air Magic by Skylum. I'll put a link down below, which will take you to the site. And you can, as I said at the beginning of the video, you can get Air Magic plus bonuses worth $167.99 for pre-order now for just £35. Licensed for two devices. So you're getting the Drone Photography Guide eBook, shoot professional photos with any drone video course, Air Magic Premium Style, and 40% discount for a Loom Cube lighting kit for the drone. All that there for £35. It's actually quite a good deal, and if you use the link below, it will take you there to that site. The software, as I say, is quite intuitive, it's AI powered. Being honest, as a drone photographer myself, I actually found that really, really quick. That is a good base starting point for my edits. There would be small tweaks made in Luminar 3, but that would really speed up my workflow. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, I'm gonna link up two of my drone videos. Have a look at them, check them out and see what you think. And once again, thanks for watching.